Good morning on this Wednesday. We've got a, a nice day today. Sun is out for pretty much all of California. Northern California's got a few clouds lingering. We got rain, got a lot of rain in 24 hours. Some areas over two inches, some areas over four and five inches over the last 24 hours. Not to mention the cumulative amount of rain we got. Uh, there is a break today and that is the key to California weather, right? If you, especially in Northern California, we can take as much rain as you can dish out as long as we get a break. And today is the break day. We've had a, every other day, we've had a little bit of a break and that has been very helpful. Rivers went to flood stage. Uh, the the uh, Guerneville, uh, Russian River at Guerneville is gonna go just to at minor flood stage, which is never good, but it's not, flood sounds like the whole town's going under. It really is just a few areas, nuisance flooding for the most part on the Russian River. Napa River went to just above flood stage as well. But flood stage is an interesting thing, right? It's really like for Guerneville really to have flooding problems, 42, 45 feet, it's down in the 30s right now. So it's it's just sort of, you know, you just get, if you live on the river, you know what you're looking at and you know where, where the water is going to be. But things are going down rapidly this morning as the water drains out of that Russian River drainage basin. That drainage basin is about 150 square miles. So if Northern California, by Ukiah and Cloverdale and all that rain comes in and just funnels in through Guerneville or through uh, Healdsburg and funnels, funnels, and all that, all those, that whole drainage drains right through that little river. So you can see why the Russian River pulses up. Uh, we do have rain back in the forecast as we go into Thursday. And this system looks not very wet. I'll show you what I mean. It does look windy though. So Thursday looks like it's going to be pretty windy. And then we get a break for the weekend. So that's kind of awesome because it's been, I mean, just even today, I'm looking out the window, I see some sunshine. It's, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy. And I'm also happy, just real quick, atmospheric rivers are how we get our rain. California gets most of its annual rainfall from atmospheric rivers. Prior to this last event, so they're not evil, right? They're not, atmospheric rivers are not evil. Prior to this rainfall event, we were dry. Remember, remember, do you remember that? Just the other day, we had no rain for weeks and we were watching the, the percents of average tick down. Atmospheric River comes in, yes, they cause problems. That they just do, and they always have. But the problems were mitigated by these breaks, mitigated by um, just the timing, the, the, you know, just how the rain fell. We were very fortunate to get this much rain, this much snow, with this little disaster. And I know there's, <clears throat> you know, there's a mudslide and there's all sorts of stuff and I get it, but you know what? Every year, that's how it's gonna go. So I just, it's funny cause I'm kind of, last night I was at work and you know, we're atmospheric river, atmospheric river. And it's, it's almost like it's a bad word. Like it's a bad thing. It's like, no, it's, it's a storm. It's a storm. And it just, it, and it turned into, um, well, anyway, so, <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're having a good day. Uh, let's take a look at uh, some of the rainfall accumulations. This is Mount Tam over the last 24 hours. Of course, there's much more over the last 72 hours, but Mount Tam came in. Let's see, we're reloading here. Mount Tam came in at, uh, uh, ooh, went in too close, about you know a couple inches of rain over 24 hours. That is a lot of rain. Sonoma County is the winner with rainfall accumulations up over two and a half inches of rain. Um, th almost three inches of rain in 24 hours. And of course that is on top of all the rain that had come before. So I'm gonna back out a little bit and remember how the colors work here, right? So the colors, generally the reds, purples, the heavier rainfalls, and then lesser. The thing that I note is, you know, most of the Bay Area had rain that was manageable. Look at San Jose, just, they finally did get up to an inch of rain. They were dry for the, not dry, but not that wet yesterday, most of the day as that extremely powerful system rolled through. I mean, it was it was robust as all get out. So I wanna go all the way down here to my friends in LA, Southern California, and you can see there, you can see it rained, right? This is in the last 24 hours. So this is in the fire zones of LA, right? Down in uh, Santa Monica, Redondo Beach, half inch, quarter inch, perfect for them, perfect for them, because then they didn't have to endure the heavy rain that we saw and the potential runoff and whatever. So, atmospheric river, good. Not bad, good. And this is uh, what we get from it. Outside we go, there's uh, Mount Tamalpais, the Sleeping Lady. 
uh, the Windsor Light. There is the Golden Gate Bridge right there and the avenues and a nice opportunity to dry out. A frosty morning this morning around the Bay Area, frosty morning in parts of the Central Valley and frosty up around Lake Almanor. This is my kind of where I grew up. Paradise is just over here a little bit, but we used to go to Lake Almanor all the time. If you've never been, you should check it out. It really is beautiful. And what you're not seeing in this shot is, I don't know if I can do it. Let's see. Can I do it? Yeah, ooh, I did it. But I, I think, yeah, this camera doesn't turn around. Behind this camera is Mount Lassen. So you get that sort of eastern view of Mount Lassen. The mountains got snow, a winter storm warning up there. Uh, winter snow has, is not an issue anymore, but it was last night. Snow in the trees is always a good thing after all that warm rain. This is Lake Tahoe, South Lake Tahoe. And just that's what you want to see right there. Just those mountains ringed with snow. This is t taken from the Heavenly Valley camera. This is interesting. This is 80, Castle Peak. Traffic's moving nicely, icy. Looks like they got a solid couple of feet of snow in the last 24 hours. And you got to remember, it was raining. Last time we looked at this picture, it was down to the pavement you know, a couple days ago. It was raining on this at this site for a bunch of days. So new snow, unfortunately, on top of that ice layer, especially on the hills, is kind of is is not kind of is an avalanche concern. So there's a lot of blasting going on up, you know, dynamite charges, um, ski patrol stuff going on because the avalanche danger the next few days is going to be not so great. This is interesting. This is Soda Springs at Kingvale. Temp uh, temperature around 30 degrees. And I'm watching this guy here. I feel like we got this is coming into town um, eastbound. And he's screening. It looks like he's screening for chains, which is interesting. And it looks like they're chaining up here now. I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me. Oh, or maybe, I don't know. I should find out. But I just pulled this up and noticed it. So you can see it travels, even though it's sunny out, it's slow going. Could be a wreck as well, just because you've got icy conditions on those roadways. So that's the Caltrans camera. This is our... National Weather Service page out of uh, Monterey. They do a nice job, those folks, and put this together for us. And you can see there's the flood warning up around Guerneville, but not just not, I mean, it's not great, but it's to be expected with that much rain that fell. The Napa River looks like it's doing okay. It, we did peak uh, earlier this morning. But what you see here are not as many watches or warnings. Yesterday, this thing was painted painted with colors because we had everything going on. Southern California, you got your rain, but now you're going to get a little bit of wind. The winds are going to be gusting to 25 to 45 to 49 miles an hour up on Mount uh, Pine Mountain. But uh, overall, you're getting a break too, right? The winds, it'll be breezy this afternoon and tonight, but you'll get a break too. And then this is how it looks nationally. And, and again, California, mm, nice man. We kind of got through this, right? Again, atmospheric river, good. No atmospheric river, bad. <laughs> Sorry. I just think, I know. Um, and then this is uh, some of the, these are some of the uh, storm warnings and such that are going to be up for this. This is for the Thursday event, getting ready to move into the area. And the Thursday event for us is going to turn into, it's not going to be a low snow elevation thing. It's kind of a mid-latitude deal. It's got uh, some wind with it, though. Okay, so we could see, you know, the trees down thing, and we'll play that pretty hard in the media, like, you know, because branches and trees, and the ground is wet and saturated, so it's not hard for trees to come down. And then you see all the cold air out in the, uh, out towards, you know, the middle part of the country and here. And what we can do is we can actually pull this up and we'll see what we got. We got ice here. This is for this afternoon. This is all icy in here. That's Chicago and areas like that. So airports are going to be doing some de-icing stuff. You got snow concerns here, rain concerns here. And LA this afternoon, looks like it wants to maybe drop a little rain here this afternoon. We'll see how that that goes. And then up in the Pacific Northwest. So kind of nice. Just not, You know what's nice? It's just having a day where I'm like looking out the window, the sun's out. I'm not counting trees down and, and watching river levels and whatever. But again, that Russian River, right? I mean, you think about 150 square miles it drains. 150 drains out through that little town of Jenner, right? Just gets all pinched down. So you bet. I think, I mean, I've been doing this a long time. You know, well, I've been watching that river for 40 years um, as a meteorologist. 
and it it's it pulses up every year and it floods I can't remember it seems like about every fourth year when I say floods I mean every fifth year um, it floods I mean Guerneville gets wet right which is not not ideal okay so here is the Thursday system this is GFS global forecast model and it's not granular but it'll be good for today it's going to show us the lines which are get close together, which will show us wind. It'll show us essentially the timing of this weather system. Here we are into tomorrow morning. And there it comes. See where the latitude is, it's lower. And then you see it pushing on shore about Thursday mid-morning and then pushes out Thursday afternoon. But what you see, and you see these lines here, especially up around the lake, those are pretty close together. So the pressure gradient is gonna be increased. And so the winds, especially in, in the Central Valley and around, yeah, and down towards, a little further south, down towards Salinas. Winds are gonna be pretty significant down towards South, south Lake Tahoe. This is for Thursday night late, and then this is Friday morning. Lingers a little bit in the mountains so that winter weather advisory or snow advisory, or whatever ends up being up there, will be dropped probably by Friday mid-morning. And there you go. We're dry, not completely dry, but drier. How much rain do we get? Here we go. This is accumulation. I'm going to go from now until 12Z Friday, which is 12 Zulu, which is 12 Greenwich, which is about 4 a.m. Friday morning. Okay, so here we go. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Accumulation, right? So it's just showing you. Here we go. Choose Thursday morning. And then I'm going to go to Friday. There it is. So that's how much rain we're going to get. And uh, there we go. That's how much rain we're gonna get, essentially, in that 24 hour period. So is it, in terms of what we've just seen, child's play, child's play. So, you know, an inch of rain in the Mount Tam watershed, quarter inch, half inch, mountains will get some good rain, looks like over an inch of rain, and snow levels will be a little higher. Okay, take a big deep breath. Drives are gonna be easier today. I saw some nutty stuff on the highway yesterday, nutty stuff. Like, right, you did too. Um, but it's nice out now. So the driveway, the drive home and from to work or from work or to the store or whatever. Um, I have to mention my all time, I mentioned this, uh, I call it an award, but it's a trophy, I guess. But I mentioned it, I, was, I mentioned it yesterday and you guys kind of got on it. And one of, the, one of you guys, which was money, goes, a nice volleyball trophy. I'm like, yeah, it's a volleyball trophy, which... By the way, okay, this sounds, I would rather have the volleyball trophy than that trophy. Because that volleyball trophy means, I mean, you kind of did something. This is just being on TV. Volleyball trophy means you got some volleyball skills. So I thought that was, I got a kick out of that. So um, what else was I going to tell you guys? Oh, and then I was thinking about trophies too. I, when I was a kid, we, again, weather's over, so you don't have to hang. But when I was a kid, we used to have, um, we get trophies, right? Like if I swam, I ran track, played football, played basketball uh, up in paradise. And I have to tell you, back in the 60s and 70s, to get a trophy, you literally had to be Jim Thorpe. They did not hand out trophies at all. Uh, my kids, I just moved my daughter. She's moved into a new apartment. And she has boxes of trophies. Now, she's a good swimmer, awesome swimmer. Actually swam in college and what have you. But... It was hard to get trophies. So when I think about trophies, that's an award. When I think about trophies, I think about my Pop Warner trophy from 1975. Think about the best swimmer in the 11 and 12 year old boy age group, Paradise Piranhas, 19 whatever, whatever. Um, I, that might be it for trophies, man. Like, so in other words, they were coveted, coveted. Um, and because we didn't get them out. It was a financial thing. I just think they cost money and nobody had any money back in the 60s and 70s. But um, so, yeah, I, it's a different thing. My kids get trophy now and they're like, yeah, got a trophy. I'm like, if I got a trophy, if I went to school the next day, that's all we'd be talking about. Oh, my God, Bill got most, you know, never the, the dreaded trophy is the most improved trophy. I mean, it's awesome, but it also means you weren't really that good. You just got better from not being that good. I got my share of those. All right, listen, I appreciate you hanging in. Um, I'll talk to you tomorrow. It's a good day. It's going to be a good day. And tomorrow's going to be manageable. And the weekend is dry. See you back here.